I got a little glimpse of her. It's not a bad fish. Decent fish to start us out. Yeah. Kenny Wikes, 29 years on Wollaston Lake, and I'm Roger Cormier, Minor Bay Lodge, back at the home of the Monster Pike. Not too many casts into the day here, and you're taking me to, taking me south. Oh, it's awesome, bud. Yeah, it's a good start to the day right here, fishing a kind of a long, narrow channel that leads into the main lake of Wollaston. This is a vast fishery, 800 square miles, and there's 80 miles of open water that way and 30 miles of bays with cabbage and bogs and weeds and islands back this way, and that's where Minor Bay Lodge is located, tucked in the south shore of one of the best northern pike fisheries in North America. Hey, yeah. it's a good start, huh? Yeah. We're gonna talk about fishing in northeastern Saskatchewan. This is a place where you can go for the Grand Slam, grayling and walleye, northern and lake trout. Oh yeah, that's a big girl, look at this. Nice healthy fish, oh, yeah. no look marks on her. Eat that spinner too. Way down, fiber yeah, wraps all the way down the chin. Got her! I got her, but nice fish, Rog. Yeah, good start to the day, let's get some more. <laughs> awesome. We're, fi we're fishing a cabbage bed here. Oh yeah, this is a nice fish. And there's a lot of different types of structure that you can fish. Oh, another big one following this one, and this is a 40-incher. Oh man, there's some monsters in these weeds. So if you come up in the early part of the year from ice out, you know, right through June, you'll be in these backwater bogs, you'll be throwing top water, soft plastics, little inline spinners sometimes. The fish will be sluggish, they'll be wanting to warm up. Oh man! And then as you get in the later summer like we got now, these big cabbage beds will emerge. The fish will pull out of those muddy backwaters and they'll be out in these cabbage beds, a nice oxygenated water with those weeds. You'll find them on rocky points and you'll catch them a lot of different ways. You get a lot of fish on top water strikes, a lot of fish on crankbaits like Super Shad Wraps, Magnum X Wraps. We've been throwing that five and a half inch uh, GT360 search bait, great lure. And this one came on just a, whoa, five aught VMC swim bait hook, rigged with just a little five inch, it's a little Kalen's jerk minnow. Really nice weedless presentation that you can twitch through the cabbage. And this is a, you know, pretty close to a 20 pound northern here. And we had one bigger than that following this guy. Pretty cool stuff. Nice, Kenny. Oh man, that's a monster. Oh, <laughs> look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice fish. You had the bigger one chasing this one. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, that... <laughs> look at that thing. Unreal. It's on one of my avid musky rods, 40 pound, 832 braid. Decent fish. Ate a white bucktail, white vibrax number six, silver blade. Another day here at Minor Bay and you know, you can fish four day and eight day packages up here. Nice fish. Clobbered it. Yeah, just, just switched from, a, from kind of a yellowish red color. We've been throwing black and silver and having pretty good success up here this week. Got different conditions here this morning. A lot of glare on the water, some pretty good rollers coming through this cabbage bed. First cast with the number six. This white with a little bit of red on that, boom. Nice 40 incher. Beauty. First cast. Yeah. <laughs> Minor Bay Lodge can accommodate up to 30 guests at a time, ultra modern cabins, but they like to run around 20 guests. That means more personal service for you. Two anglers per boat in these 18 and 20 foot boats with 50 horse Yamaha four strokes on them, fully guided. Guides have lots of years of experience up here, so they'll put you on all these hot spots. They'll do a shore lunch on the lake for you, or you can just bring a bag lunch out on the lake. Hearty breakfast to start your day, and then gourmet dining in the lodge in the evening after cocktail hour and hors d'oeuvres. They've got a Red Seal chef that'll prepare these wonderful meals for you up here. You're talking first class service, dining and accommodations at Minor Bay Lodge. You can see in this cabbage, it's a bigger fish, I'm trying to keep that fish up and out of the cabbage. We switched to a black and silver Vibrax. This one's got a fluted blade on it, a little bigger blade. It runs a little bit higher in the water column over the weeds. Haven't got a look at this fish yet. 
But I also bring a bunch of my bass rods along, seven, one, seven, four, and seven, six. Bass X and Mojo bass rods. Man, this is a toad here. Hit the big heavy back yeah. on her button. I'm really putting pressure on this gear, but usually you don't really need like super heavy musky rods. I mean, this, this is the medium heavy power and it's got a fast action tip on it so I can still fling a, a bait like a bucktail. This is just a single. We don't use the tandems up here very often. And we're throwing a lot of smaller other baits too. You know, I use a little bass lures, a little storm weight crank is an awesome topwater lure up here. Just a little bit of line there, bud. Yep, it's a little green yet. Nice big one over 40 inches here. Wow, look at the head on that thing. <sighs> yeah! Yeah, baby. <laughs> 44. Minor Bay Lodge, the home of the monster pike right there, Big Kenny, huh? What an nice awesome, fish, Roger. What an awesome, awesome fish. Unbelievable fishing up here. GWNLodges.com, GreatWhiteNorthLodges.com to plan your trip to northeastern Saskatchewan. I'm Roger Cormier with our guide, Big Kenny. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. <laughs>